One of my very favorite things about shooting with Filmic Pro is that you actually have shadow and highlight sliders, just like in Lightroom or Photoshop. Not only that, but you can enable log mode in the settings to capture a wider dynamic range from your camera sensor, even on a smartphone. Log mode allows you to uh, take the highlights and the shadows and kind of push them towards the center of the histogram, which results in a more washed out gray looking image, which doesn't look as pleasing to the eye, but it actually contains more information about uh, the details that would have otherwise been lost in the highlights and the shadows. So um, it's actually something that I've never seen on another uh, camera app on a smartphone. So the fact that it is there is pretty awesome. Uh, it's usually reserved for high-end DSLRs or even Sony's highest-end DSLR, the A9, doesn't come with a log mode. Um, so let's thank the developers of Filmic Pro for having such an awesome feature. But um, once you enable log mode uh, and you see the resulting gray, washed out looking image, um, I like to typically turn the mid-tones a little bit higher by pushing the center slider on the uh, little histogram adjustment control panel. Um, sliding the mid-tones higher and uh, that kind of makes the skin tones a little bit brighter which is my preference um, so once you're at that point um, record your image and then it's actually going to be something that's going to require post-processing in order to get rid of that dull gray appearance um, so when you throw it into like a an application like Adobe Premiere or even on Android there's a app called 3D LUT, which is amazing for considering that it's an Android app that's just incredible because I've never seen another Android app that allows you to color grade your video footage uh, using LUTs before. So um, the only problem that I've noticed is that so far I can only get it to export uh, video in 720p. I don't know if maybe you were to pay for like a subscription or membership or something like that if you can export in high resolutions. I even know that with 3D LUT, uh, the preview of the video file as you're choosing the LUT to apply, um, it actually shows in its original resolution. So, and that it shows with the LUT applied. So it would be something you could just use a screen recorder for, except for that the preview window that it shows is cropped on the tops and bottoms because it's like zoomed in for some reason. And it just is not uh, a workable solution. And I haven't found a way around that. So um, I, definitely recommend that application and I will leave it or leave a link to it in the description below um, but yeah it's something that I do pretty much every day so if this has been a help to you then uh, make sure to subscribe